What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to do another hard trial. So we're getting into the harder trials now. We played easy-ish hard trials the past couple of videos, but I've heard that these last few are much harder than the three we've already done. So uh, today we're going to be playing Protected Area. The description says, Growth units are quick at the best of times, but this caller's forces are shifting so rapidly you're struggling to keep track of the battlefield. Moments later, they attack in unison cracking your idols before you've had the chance to call this foe's eagerness must be punished with pain destroy three of your opponent idols to win and your opponent units enter the board with an extra move armor and haste this haste is really the killer i already lost this uh, trial two times because i uh went with a uh, i tried to beat straight up with an energy deck because i thought maybe oh since they have armor um like the direct uh the direct damage from sparks burns thunder surge sudden eruptions will be good with all the little growth creatures as well and I'll be able to like sweep the board and like maintain board control. But that what didn't work because they were too fast for me because you could just put down hasted great wolves and uh, fang bears just sweep me and he has god hands rallies all this stuff. So it's really hard to beat. So I asked uh, some people and they said that they beat it with a deck centered around drawing waking stones, buffing them up, and winning with direct idle damage. So this is the deck I put together. I just got uh um. I got uh, the idea from a few people in my guild, and uh, here it is. I made the deck myself, but the idea of buffing up Waking Stones is not mine. So this is how most people I think have beaten it already. If people have beaten it, they've used like a deck similar to this. It's very hard to beat straight up. So basically, it centers around getting Waking Stones, drawing them with summons, and just putting those three waking zones down in front of three idols and not letting him break through those. And then eventually, it might take a long time, but you'll win with direct idol damage from Decimation, Low Darkling, Searing Shackles, Regenture, Faith Chains. So, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't face Faith Chains because I don't really have any units that are. I don't have any creature besides. Actually, no. Faith Chains, Low Darkling is, is going to be good. Um, yeah, so I'll put a Resident Helm on them and just they won't. They, the waking zones don't die, but I might still lose. If I don't get all three waking zones out early enough, I think I'm thinking about taking out these shrines because the three shrines, although they're very good for the waking stones, I'm afraid that using summons will uh, make it so you put in shrines will have a less chance of drawing waking stones. Like summons and waking stones basically mean six waking stones, but then if I have a shrine in there, it's like cuts that chance of using summons to get one of them in half. But I'll try it like this, Royal Banner, because Growth doesn't have that much, like, you know, the Royal Banner, I'm going to take out Royal Banner. I'm going to change the deck a little bit. Um, I have, I have like, a little bit of Decay, some Languids to, uh, make sure you can't do anything. I'm going to take a couple Atrophies. I think that's going to help Atrophy, or Atrophy. And, maybe I should take... What are the things called? Draining Mist or something? Or... We'll just keep the way we are now. So, we're gonna try this deck and we're gonna try to beat this. So, here we go. Protected area. I don't think we're gonna be beating this trial in five minutes like we did the last one. So, here we go and... I think we go first, yes. So now the goal is, all right, we didn't get a good starting hand. We want it like a waking stones or a summons. All right, that's fine. Um, the goal is to make, is you want him or her, her to play a bunny turn one because the hasted bunny is gonna fill up the board really fast and then he won't have anywhere to play actual creatures that can hurt my idols. But he does have like, I think rallies and god hands. So uh, we have to watch out. And we can always delay with things that are really a nuisance. Um, I'm gonna sack decimation. Eh, no, sack the sharing shackles. That's more late game when I have to really win. Okay, he didn't go turn one bunny. So this might not go too well. I'm gonna sack decimation now. Okay. And hopefully he doesn't have a unit he could play here. Please the outcast rubble. I'm just trying to make sure he does, he does as little idle damage as possible. Okay, um... I'll get down the waking stones 
I'm going to put it in front of the idol with the already taken idol damage. Because I think once this awakens us down, it's not dying. I'm going to put plate armor on it. I'm going to buff this thing up. It is not going away. Okay, um... This, this is only going to give it one extra health because it already has, like, the armor kind of thing on it. Um, you can't really stack out. So I'm just going to play the Shrine, I think, this turn. Or Crown of Strength is good also, but I think I'll play the Shrine. So now I really want to get another Waking Stone. Good. He doesn't play anything this turn, which is very good. Um, I'm going to sacrifice the Decimation. For... Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put Crown of Strength on this one. I'm not gonna use the Atrophy, but I, I want to play the Language soon, so I can. Okay. Um. So now, it'd be nice to get a Resonant Helm on that thing, so I can start healing it up. At least he's going for the Waking Stone, not the Idols. I think we can continue to heal this thing. A little Darkling. I mean, he has hasted things, so I'm gonna sack for cards here. Infiltrate. I'll go for the infiltrate on the wolf right here. I really want to draw summons or awakening stones. I'm gonna lose this game if I don't get those fast enough. Oh boy, he could have destroyed my awakening stones this turn and the shrine behind it. Thank God he didn't. Okay, I really need to get get this. Waking stones. Another way. Oh, there's a summons. And do we play the other waking stones yet? You know what? I don't think we do. I think we really have to make sure this waking stone stays alive. So I'm gonna put a plate armor on it right now. You know I'm gonna sacrifice the searing shackles. Okay, I'm gonna play languid. So now you don't do any damage. Oh, I'm gonna play plate armor or summons. Plate armor. Okay. So. Wetland Ranger. Okay, he's not going for the Waking Stones. Okay. I think we're a little safe now. We really, it'd be really nice to get some Resonant Helms. That'd be very nice. Uh, a Kabong could be good. Nah, I'm gonna get a Waking Stones down. Here, I'm going to go ahead and actually Kabonk. Ooh, Horn of Ages. Now nah, Horn of Ages won't do much. I'm gonna summons. Shrine is decent. Sack this for cards. And I'm going to Atrophy and Atrophy. Okay. More Mystic. Oh boy. I really need a resident home that to get that thing to continue to heal. Okay, I think we don't have to go with. We don't have to. I mean, if it got handy, he wins. But if he doesn't, we don't have to play the waking stones. And so we absolutely have to. Resident home. That's gonna be nice. Okay, I'm gonna go with the resident home. And now I'm going to. Attack for I'm gonna go ahead and play sack I'm actually gonna sack the Yeah. Sack the infiltrate and play the Atrophy on you 
and another shrine. So if he doesn't have like a god hand this turn, I think we're good. I don't think this thing will come down. With the with the resonant helm on it, now I think it's gonna be nice and strong. Okay. So now those guys have higher health. We're gonna have to get the other waking stones down. I'll go ahead and play the other waking stones, right? I'll play down here. I think that's my whole whole turn. Okay, now I need to get that thing buffed a little bit. Good, he didn't do anything too scary. Alright. Um I sack decimation or do I language summon right now? I mean if I get a th it depends if I draw anything I need to get right now. I did not draw uh, alright, so I'll sacrifice I'll, I'll languid you because why not? This the reason I'm gonna link with him is because that way that way zero damage like like if this wake nose not gonna take any damage from him. Um now we'll go with a summon I don't think he's gonna be able to win this turn regardless. So maybe I should just play a plate armor to protect this thing. Actually no, but he can't, it's impossible. I'm going for the third 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 waking stones. And I'm gonna put it up here. Or down here. Uh I'll go down here. Okay. We have our three waking stones down. And one of them has a resident helm. That one's gonna stay alive. I have to make sure I protect the other two at all costs. A Yarl. And that, I mean, the hasted Yarl is only gonna do one damage. To you. If I get these waking stones, I should just really continue to be healed. I'm gonna win this game. Ugh. This is, this is scary. Oh, okay. You could take Resonant Helm to heal that thing up. I'm going to go ahead and Frostwind all of you. Good, that heals both of those up. And I want this to be a little higher. Do I really want to do that? We're going to save everything else. Do you want to stand and shackle something? I think we're gonna be good here. Okay, now with two, if two of them have resonant health, I think that's very important. And he is filling up his board now, but he's not filling up his board with bunnies, which was the thing we wanted to happen. These these guys can actually hurt us. But it looks like our waking stones aren't going to come down because those top two ones both have resonant health. But now we have to work on getting the bottom one some some healing. Okay, he's, he's soon gonna fill up his board, but it's not a huge deal if he already has good things attacking. It's gonna be hard for him to navigate, and or if I put a crown strike, he can't break through this this turn. That's good. That crown strength is very good. Um, I'm going to actually, you know, I'm actually gonna sack the Gabonk because I kind of want him to fill up his board. Um, I'll go with the crown of strength here. So that's gonna heal both of those. And now I'm gonna go with another crown of strength on this one. Because this one has the resident helm. This one doesn't have a resident helm, so I kinda want that one to be very big. And then I will go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some idle damage. 
I guess this guy's gonna take a long time to die. So I'll put it on him. How do you get eight attack? Oh yeah, the uh, Earthworm Mystics make him get extra attack. I think we have this game. We're gonna win this. I don't think there's any, and he's gonna fill up his board maybe this turn. Yeah, he does. Okay, so we just have to, uh, once we get a rest and hum on this bottom one, there's basically no way we're gonna lose as long as we keep playing this stuff. These waking snows are not coming down. Okay, I can't, can't put any more creatures. Okay. So, uh, I guess this idol's slowly gonna come down. Resident helmets, we need it. I guess we put them in the bottom idol. I mean, the bottom waking side. This one doesn't have it, right? We can, ground strength, ground strength, resident helm, ground strength, right? Really armor, right? So, put resident helm on this one. So, so, this one has resident helm. This has resident helm and two crown strength. This one has resident helm, plate armor, crown strength. Oh, this one's the best. Let's put. Here, let's go ahead and. There's an infiltrating something. It's not really going to do anything. I guess for more card draw. But I'm, it's not like I'm going to. Uh, that's nice. Faith chains, plate armor. I guess I should go for plate armor soon. Attack the faith chain. Eh, I should probably keep the faith chain. I could put on this little darkling. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Uh. I'm gonna put the loyal darkling over here because I kind of want to wait until I get a faith chains on it to kill it. So if I, so, I'll just kill it myself with the faith chains on it. And he can't really do much. I wonder how what enchantments he has in his deck. Probably rally using god hands, but as long as I make sure that awakening zone does not go below four health, it's not it's gonna survive. Frostwind is useful, but I mean, it's not really necessary. So I'll go with the plate armor on you. And then I'll go with Frostwind. So this guy is capped at 6, this guy's capped at 6, and this guy's capped at 8. Or no. I don't even know at this point. Whatever. I think we have this game. But it might take a long time. Yeah, this might take a long time. Right now we're just slowly getting the idle down. Okay, um, let's get some other more direct idle damage. Regen sure, I mean Horn of Ages are kinda useless now because all those guys are there. Alright, Faith Chains. Or we should go with the shrine first. And we'll go with the Faith Chains. And then I'll go with the sacrifice. Or yeah, this is already at a There we go. Oh should I I should have gone for two faith chains on it and then sacrifice. Yeah, whatever. Actually I wanted to die before the deck recycles. Yeah, that was actually a good play on me. Um let's whittle down. I feel like the regenerators are I'm not gonna really help that much. The one damage each. I'm gonna hold off on that. Just have another card to sack and stuff. I'm gonna try to play a little faster, but it's kinda wasted time now. It's a long game and I'm not gonna I don't wanna just waste your, all your guys' time. Wow, look at these waking stones. I wonder what they're gonna be at, like at the end. Oh yeah, and now that I put the plate armor on this one, that one damage is not gonna do anything to it. I'm um, sorry about that sound, guys. Uh I'll sack the Horn of Ages. I guess I play the shrine. Oh boy, look at those things. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and languid. Does it even do anything? I don't think it's attack change. Whatever. <laughs> All right, these waking stones are epic. the only way to beat this trial something like this because the hasted units every time they come out it's just way too much to overcome summons i don't think there's any structures to summon <laughs> uh i guess i'll just sack this for cards i don't know if i want to do the decimation because um it's gonna kill something he's gonna be able to place a unit or actually it's fine 
because I mean, what's he gonna place that's really gonna hurt us? If he had like any like any like dis displacement spells, I'd be so screwed. Okay. I love seeing that eight damage just turn into one. Okay, um, I'll just stack the HFP now. I guess I'll just faith chains you, and that'll be that'll be that. And why don't we regenerate? Let's go ahead and regenerate you. Yeah, let's regenerate you. Oh boy, that has four attack now. <laughs> Let's regen for you. It's healing our own things. <laughs> Didn't mean to get that four attack, but just make sure these waking stones do not go under four, and I'm good. Okay, let's see if we can get another Searing Shackles or something soon. Uh, summon Horn Mages, I guess I'll just infiltrate because this middle one's kind of low, it looks like. And a Regenerator, let's get a, let's make, let's make you really big. No, that's going to die anyways to uh, those Shackles. There we go. I should have just. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I have um. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Faith chains on him. He does a faith chain. Maybe if I can get multiple faith chains on him, that'd be nice. Okay. Uh. Bonk. Uh, if I could mock my own waking stones, it actually do. It would actually uh, heal my waking stones. <laughs> Um, I guess that's it. Yeah, so I'm gonna just blow this guy up next time. <laughs> yeah, there's so little cards in my deck now because I have so many like enchantments on the field right now. Okay, uh, I guess I think. Unless I can draw like another faith chains, I'll just do this now. Very good. And now I'll go with a frost wind. Heal those things up. I'll go with another searing shackle so I can get this thing done in four turns. And hopefully I can get a little dark and layer decimation to finish that up. And there's no reason not to go with another frost wind. So it's nine seven nine. Why are these at nine? Two crown strength. Crown strength play on. Should, shouldn't this one be? I'm not gonna even look into it. Okay. Well, I guess. I guess I'll just decimation for to destroy that idol. See, so yeah, I, I use decimation to hurt my thing, but it gets healed right back. And you can't move, even though you couldn't move anyways. Okay, so now uh, I, I win three turns because it has Searing Shackles. No, he killed the thing with Searing Shackles. Very smart. Well, now I have to find a different way to win. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh... Darkling. I mean, I need more than Darkling. I need to get. I'm not gonna play Darkling yet. Go ahead and draw some more. Faith chains. There we go. Oh, I have to get. I have to get Darkling faith chains same turn. And then I can. Then I can win. And just for fun, I'll summon nothing. Okay. I think we can win this or not. Or next turn, because he has to kill my guy. He has all these three things attacked. 
Well, they had 10 health. That was awesome. This is epic. Sorry if this video is a little boring, guys, but... Oh, well. Darkling. Faith chains. And now, no new moving muscle. Now attack. And kill the 5 health Darkling so I can win. Yay! Well, that was some game. Only 25 minute video, not as long as I thought it would be. So there we go, we beat the protected area trial. I thank you all for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you really enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys next time, so keep on scrolling everybody.